Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 26 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be giving just a brief overview of global variables and why I haven't been using them and why I will continue not to use them in the coming tutorials. So basically, global variables are a way for you to create one variable and have it used anywhere in your program. So instead of having to pass on your variables or to, um, uh, as we've done with pointers, point to the original one, there's um, a way that you can just create one variable and have it accessible to any function that you have. So we're going to go ahead and create one here. And we're going to create two functions so that I can represent what I'm trying to say here. So let's make another one and uh, we're just going to call it print num and we'll give it no parameters. And now here we can create our variable and we're just going to call it uh, num and we're going to give it a value of 1. Now in our code down here, in our main function, we want to just print out our number here. So we want to do percent %d for integer and then we'll print out num. And that uh, will, since we have a global variable of num, it's accessible to all of our functions. So num will be able to use it as well. So now let's um, just let's do a plus plus to num so we can increment it by one. And now let's go to our or let's call our print num statement or sorry print num function that we created. And now we'll go down here and define what print num does. And inside of this, we're going to print again. Oops, we're going to print out what um, we're going to print out our number, our, our global variable that we've created here. So again, we'll do percent %d, and we will print out num. And when I go to compile and run this, you'll notice that this num has is fine. It doesn't have any um, compiling errors and that's because again it's a global variable so it can spread to any function that we create and it's not limited to just one function. So if I go to my console and I go to see this as you can see we start out with one because our first printf num had a value of one then we incremented num and then we ran our print num statement which printed out num again and then at that time it had a value of 2, so then it printed out 2. But the problem with global variables is that exactly what is in the name. They're accessible to everything, and that when you have really big programs, it becomes a problem because then you can change it from any uh, function, and when you have um, problems that occur, you don't really know where they're going wrong. Um, basically, if your program relies too heavily on global variables and you can change that in any function, you can't limit your problems down to just one function. Instead, you it could happen anywhere in your program. And then it becomes really hard to basically debug your program. And in some cases, I mean, globals can be really useful. And if it's something that's easy to track and they don't really, they're just necessary to make global variables or they're more helpful, by all means, sometimes you want to use them, but in most cases, that's that's just not what you want to do. And for that matter, we're not going to be using global variables for any of our um, any of the lessons that I continue on. Um, basically, just because you don't want to be having these problems later on, um, it's good to just not use them uh, from the start, and then just keep using local variables and passing. Uh, things through parameters or using pointers. And you can accomplish pretty much everything that you ever want to do by using pointers as well. And it just pretty makes globals um, just obsolete anyway. But again, just it's just something that I thought I'd um, just not leave out entirely and so that you would know that they do exist and so that you just, you know, it's something to learn. So anyway, this was lesson 26 on global variables. See you next tutorial.